Well, hello everybody. Denise here, the Crafty DIYer. How y'all doing today? Hope you are having a great Friday. It is Friday. Oh my goodness. Thankfully, it is Friday. What do you guys got planned this weekend? Uh, okay, hold on a second. I'm trying to craft, get my live. Oh, am I live? Where's my live? Where is it? Hold on. I got to send my text list. My link. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to hit that share button and I'm going to copy that link and I'm going to pop it over in here right here. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on a second, guys. <laughs> oh my God, I cannot do this gracefully. It really it cannot be done. There we go. All right, I want to save this. Oh no, don't give me an error. Hold on. I got a good you want to do some card playing? We're not we're not gonna play cards. This is taking its darn time. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, hey Sue, hey Shelly, April, hello everybody, hey Brenda. Come on in, come on in. Don't you just hate when you when you're on the computer and you get the little round wheel? Oh my goodness. I'm trying to send out the link to this live to my text list. I'll come back to that. We'll come back to it. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, Ruth Ann. Hey, Michelle, Patricia Lynn. How are you all doing? You want to play some cards? You want to play some cards like Crazy Eights? Ooh, do I have a full house? We're not playing cards, but we're going to craft with these. I got some ideas, okay? Hello, everybody. Okay, let me see. Oh, I got the reel of, you know, oh my God, it's not working. Hey, Jackie is watching from YouTube. I am streaming on Facebook and YouTube. So if you guys can do me a favor, can you sprinkle out this video? That would be awesome. I'd appreciate it. Okay. If you're on my text list, I'm sorry, it's not going. It's just doing a little circle thing. So we're going to move on. We're just, we're going to move on. Maybe I'll check it back in about five minutes. Okay. So do you like paper crafting? I got some paper here. Okay. This is the um, digital bundles that we got a little bit of everything here today. And um, we're going to make some of these little cards. So see this here. I made this using this and let's just let's just make some stuff okay um and hey lori no still going around in circles thank you sue i worked it today i put a little bit of mousse in there put a little bit of mousse let it dry naturally you can't you can't do too much to it if you do too much listen with my hair if i do too much or don't do enough it's like the three bears. I got to just do it just right. And today is a good day. It's a good day. Hey, Alice. Laura, you did. You made it live. This is so strange. My comment just keeps replicating. Oh, it's not happening on this side, Deb. I don't see it on my side happening. Yeah, we got the wheel out there. Okay. Just so you know that the digital print clubhouse closes the doors today is the last day to get all these printables for only 12 dollars a month okay um you're gonna want a link right yeah you're gonna want a link hold on i'm just i'm gonna go grab it right now i'm gonna copy it and i'm gonna pop it in here Thank you, Jackie. Okay. Now, I think it's going to show on YouTube. Is it showing up on Facebook as well, the link? Huh? Is the link that I just put for the Digital Print Clubhouse on the Facebook? It's showing the YouTubes. The YouTubes. That's what we call it. The Facebook and the YouTubes. Is it like the Google? The Google? Is it like the Google? The Google, yes. You always put it the in front of it. 
It is. Okay, they're saying it is. Awesome. I got, hey, listen, I got told, hey, did, I didn't tell you. I got told the other day to less talking and more crafting. I felt, I felt like somebody was watching and they said, less talking and more crafting. And I felt like saying, then I'm not the girl for you. You can, you, you, there is a scroll. There is the scroll or the next button. All right. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I'm thinking of working with, I think we're going to do something with this one. Okay. Um, we're going to do something with this one. And I'm thinking this, I'm using all a little bit of everything of this month's now. So let me just briefly say, let's just start. Okay. I, I'm not going to let this woman, the one comment that said less talking, more crafting. You know what? This is my platform. <laughs> this is my page. If I want to sit here and talk all day with y'all, then I'm going to do that. And if you don't love me and if you don't, you don't like it, then you can move on. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> hmm. Yes, Carla, it is $12 a month. I don't know why I'm yelling. It's $12 a month and that's 70% off. Like, so all of these will be available on my website tomorrow to purchase individually. Okay. But if you were to purchase these individually, it would cost you like over $40. So it's a big savings. Look at it this way. If you purchase two printables in one month on my website, that will cost you $16. If you join the club, you're going to pay $12 and you're going to get five printables. And one of those is exclusive only to um, the club. Like this one here. This um, here, this one, and it's this kit. This, this, the only way to get this is by joining the club, okay? This particular one, so, all right. I think, you know what, I want to do this one. I, oh, it's right here, Denise, oh my God. Hey, Barbara. Ellie says, talk all you want, it's your page. And some of us love the conversation. If they don't want to hear uh, hear you or they think you're too slow, they can watch on replay. Not all. I know. Right? That's what I'm thinking. That's okay. That's okay. Um, okay. So this is the one here, the journal pages. We are going to be doing a journal soon. Okay. But this is the journal page. This is only available... That one is goes with one of the others. I've I, I just like pulled them all together. All right, but let's get back to the cards. So I think on YouTube, I think they call it um, my YouTube followers. My hair is going to go so long. Barbara, I just cut it. It was down to here and I cut it just recently. Um, I think they call them tea something cards. They're like trading cards. And a lot of people put paint on them and do all kinds of things, which I've done, but I'm going to show you some simple ways to make these tags. Okay. So I took this and it's, so, it, you know, you could put this on cardstock if you want, but I think this is more fun. And I got these hanging around, right? All right. Let's do... So I've got some papers. Now, let me show you this. So this is something we did a while ago. Actually, I don't know when we did this, but we did it here. Let me make myself smaller. Hold on. So you can actually see my page better. There we go. Shelly, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks. Um, but they're like little, little, you know, ephemera. Make our own ephemera, right? But I don't know where I was going with this. Oh, the papers. So I've got some vintage paper. This is music paper. I've got, um, this is a, what do you call this? A map? <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me turn that down there. Uh, a, map, a map. And then I've got this graph paper. This, These are all vintage papers that we're going to 
you're going to put on the back side. So when you are making, here, let me show you. So say you've got a journal going, right? We're going to make a journal. You take this and you've got your pages. I just threw some pages together here, right? So you got some pages and say you want to put like, you would put this here and this is what we made. I don't know when it was a, a while ago. I'll glue it there and then it opens up, right? So you can put things in there and tuck, like tucks and pulls and all kinds of fun stuff, okay? So this, this could go in here if, if I wanted to, stuff like that, right? So kind of gives you an idea of what we're doing. All right. Not talking, more crafting. <laughs> oh. I guess if you're watching for the first time and you don't know me, it could be a lot of talk. But once you get to know me, you, you sort of enjoy it, right? Paint modified game cards for him. Super fun. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Lynn. All right. Let's get crafting. So I'm going to take my card. And we're going to use this for the back. So let's figure out what we want at the front. I like this. Actually, let's do it. All right. You want to do the kitty? Will the kitty fit on here? Mm. No. Let's do the shoes. The kitty's a little big. Let's do that. Um, also, too, listen. I want you to get your calendar out. Does anybody use a, a real calendar still, or do you do it on your phone? Um, I want you to write down the date. I want you to book off the first week of March, okay? Um, I am announcing something next week for the first week of March. You're going to want to be here, all right? March 4th to March 8th. I'll tell you more about it next week, but just already you know, mark it on your book. Okay. Laurie still has a real one. Awesome. We can do a smaller one too. Let's just cut this out and then we'll see if we want to use it. This one is, this is from the sewing folio kit. This is eight pages. This one, this one's in eight pages. Okay. there's that and then um you can also grab i'm gonna cut this up i oh no not that one mm. let me see what else i have here i had another one here ow oh, i just gave myself a paper cut <gasps> ow okay so this one i printed it upside down actually printed the wrong thing on the back. Um, so I can't really use it as a journal. I could, but I think what I'm going to do is like we could do this part. This is the pretty in pretty pink collage. I love this paper. We could do the bird. We could do, I don't know. There's so much we could do on this. Oh, we could even do that. That would be kind of cool, right? This. Um, let's do this one. So I'm just going to cut out just a little bit what I need. I like to make it just a little bigger. Okay. And you're like, well, you could use cardboard. What I really like about these cards is one, you could probably get them at, you probably have some in the house that you don't use. But I actually got these from the thrift store for like 50 cents, right? And it's already kind of like that cardboard. So it's it's good as a middle piece, right? Um, you have to talk to explain what you are doing. Oh, oh, right. Yes. Right, Jackie. <laughs> I thought you 
got you. I know, right? I think they don't like to talk at the beginning, I guess. I don't know. Laura, okay, so get out your playing cards, okay? Hey, Pam. Okay, we're going to use that one. We're going to do this one. And let's do another one from this page. This is kind of cute, this little bird here. Do you think we get that on there? That's kind of cute. I'm just going to trace that real quick. We'll trace that real quick. I'm going to go just... Oh, that's a pen. I thought I grabbed my pencil. And don't worry about the pen marks because we're going to add some uh, ink to the edges. I love these collage papers because you can do so much with them. And they're meant to just cut up and craft with, right? <laughs> Brenda, you're funny. I'm not playing with the full deck anyway, she said. This actually is not a full deck. I don't know where the rest of it is, but it's not. Okay, and we'll do that one. So let's start with these. Okay. And that. Do there. And I'm not going to use a glue stick. There is, because this is slick, a glue stick is not really going to work very well. Okay. And I found that out. So we're going to use... Um, I'm going to use my fabric tack. You could use wood glue, white glue, whatever liquid glue you have. Just um, a glue stick doesn't work with a shiny surface. I didn't know that until I did it uh, a while ago, and it was like, oh, it started coming apart. So, All right, let's do this one. And uh, I'm going to add that there. So let's just get our... I know, right, Brenda? Oh, I don't know what that says. That is not English. <laughs> I was cleaning my loft space out and found loads of packs of cards. Well, there you go. Michelle, you need to do you need to work with these. I've painted these as well. But honestly, these things are already done. Like Printables are already made beautifully for you. Okay, you don't need to see my belly. Hold on. Let me let me see if I can. There we go. So I'll put this on. Just don't use hot glue. Okay. Promise me you will not use hot glue. Hot glue. Hold on. What's going on? Hold on. There we go. That's better. Um. Hot glue is not good. Okay, so that's on there. Actually, let's do that now. Let me turn that. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is for junk journals and crafting and... So that's that side. We're going to come back and ink that. And now let's put, this is a bird. Let's, let's put the um, this on there. What do you think? This is Canada's population. Oh, my God. Look at this. I'm in Canada, right? So it says Canada population in 1956. Wow. Huh. This book is old. 1951 to 19. So this stuff is really great for junk journals. You don't want to, you don't want to throw this stuff out, right? So I want to have it available. So mm, let's just put that on there. Why not? I'm just going to cut this out willy nilly. And I'm just going to make it a little bigger thrift store guys get this stuff at a thrift store and i was just going to ask siri how what's the population kelly google something for me 
I need you to ask the Google something. Actually, um, what's the population of Canada right now? Okay, she's going to Google it. I mean, I guess one of you could have done it too. And Laura says, I promise not to use hot glue. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, I could, I could do either side. Which side do we use? Put this side or this side? I'm going to do this side because I like that. All right. Thirty-eight million. Thirty-eight million. Okay, so back in 19, 1956, there was sixteen million. And there's how many now? Thirty-eight. That's not a lot. Sixteen. Sixteen dash zero eight. That's million, right? More than double. Yeah. Million. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, you, there's a little Canadian trivia. Shelly says hello. Mm -hmm. She's still working. Okay. All right. I'm going to hide that little trivia and put this Canada part on here. All right. So I got a little bit of history on here. Except I covered it up. All right, now I'm going to trim this. And the card already has like a natural curve to it. Okay. Then you're going to take your ink. Squirreled. Yep, this is um, vintage photo distress ink. Okay, and then I'm just going to make this. This is very juicy. Because we want this to look old, right? This is old, but we want it to make it look even older. And you could still put something on that. You could still write something on that. There is a bit of ink there that it's not covering. So I'm going to just pop that off. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Just make it smaller. There we go. You could probably put it in the corner puncher. Let's see if it works. I have a, this is a corner puncher. Let's see. Oh, it works. Here we go. I like that. I like that better. So let's do that. So if you're just hopping on, we are streaming in YouTube and Facebook. Oh, I like this one. Just going to come in a little bit more. Okay, look. Isn't that cute? So now we've got that and the back. So vintage paper. This is a book um, map that I got. I don't know where the rest of it is. It's somewhere. Um, and that's the printable. Isn't that cute? Hey, Stephanie, I am. I'm here. I'm alive. The card had nachos on it. Where are my... <laughs> We're having nachos for dinner tomorrow night. Yes, I love nachos. Nachos is my favorite food. And I'm vegetarian, and we can. And there is, um, there's the other one I did where uh, there is um, fake meat. It's really good. Okay, so this one here already comes with this shape. Okay, so we're going to use this one now. Put this on. 
How do you come up with these great ideas? I don't think I would have thought of using old playing cards. Oh, you know what? Uh, I mean, they're they're not my original. They're not my ideas. Like there's, I've seen people on YouTube that have been doing this probably for years. Um, it's just, you know, you just get ideas on Pinterest. Sometimes I come up with an original, but this is not my original idea. But these are, okay? And what I like to do is, I don't know, I have never seen, I'm sure some people have, but I've never seen anybody put a printable on it. I've only seen them um, paint them. So not to say that no one has put a printable on it, but I'm just putting my own spin on that. Okay. And we'll cut that after. Actually, no, I'll cut that now. I always suggest to cut it before you put the next page on. It's just easier. Oh, Ma, I can't, I don't understand. Is that Spanish? Oh, that's too bad. I can't read that. So let's turn that. So like I said, this printable comes with this shape. It already has that. I'm just trying to trim this without getting all of it. There we go. And then trim this a bit. There we go. Okay. And now for this one, let's do, let's do a music sheet. Again, I got this from the thrift store. Okay. Every thrift store will have an old book section. You go in there and you go into the music. No one ever buys it. And you just, you find this stuff and you grab it because this is what you're going to do with it. Okay. So let's, um, is this both on both sides? Yes, it is. So I could just glue it on there and then cut it. I probably could. Let's do that. Let's do that. What do you guys got going on this weekend? Right. So again, like I said, I'm going to be announcing next week. I'm not sure what date it is. When's the 11th? What day is the 11th? Somebody look that up for me. Hey, Stephanie signed up for the Digital Print Clubhouse. All right. Awesome. Don't forget to, um, you'll get an email. Don't forget to that we do have a private group for you. Um, and you, so where you can show and get ideas of what you guys do with the printables. Sunday is the 11th. Okay. So I will announce it on Monday. So stay tuned for Monday. I got a big announcement for the March 4th week. And then um, also next week, uh, I haven't decided what day, but I have a surprise for you all. I do have a surprise for you. Now, many of you might have known or seen. Does anybody remember seeing um, that I put a post for you guys to name a printable bundle? Do you remember that? Who saw that post? It was a post from, I don't know if it was this week or last week. I really, they all days, I work every day. So the, all the days just kind of come together. But um, who remembers seeing that? And what I did, you all had such good names for this printable. Sheola remembers, Lori does, Gail. Oh, okay. Stay tuned. And I named it, I took words, everybody has such good names. 
And so what I did was I took uh, two words from two different people. I don't even remember who it was. I just remember seeing it and then it popped into my mind. It's called Vintage Garden. Vintage Garden. Uh, I came across the whole stack of sheet music. Very old. Old too at the thrift store recently. I love Oh, awesome. Apparently, I, I understand that it's hard to find those old music. Now, this is a little see-through. I like that. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the... Oh, hold on. You can see the four, is it a four? No, two of spades. No, two of hearts. You can see it. I like that. So whenever you're edging this out, I like to do all the sides and then I just come in. I do this with everything, guys. Okay, let me show you. Oh, I, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put this picture in the group, the creative mix group. But see, we did this, we did this last night in the creative mix club. Dusty, you like the vintage garden? Yeah. Um, but see here, I edge, I edge everything out. It just adds a nice frame to things. Okay, so we did this in the club last night. But see how it just made that look so much older, right? Do this side as well. So again, you just hit the sides. And you can stop there if you want. It doesn't have, you don't have to make it look as old as I do, right? And we'll, we'll come back to this one and we'll make it a tag. We'll make one just as it is. And another one is a tag. Look at that. How cute is that? So cute. Right? So if you're making a junk journal or you're doing any kind of crafting, like, um, hold on. I'd like to show you how to use these. So let me grab here. I think we did this this week, I think. So this is a printable. Um, this is Bluebell. She's in this month as well. Uh, but you see here, I edged this all out. But this tag, I made this last month. This tag it was already made. And what I like to do is I'll, I'll put them in a folder, usually the folio. And um, I don't know where they all are. But I put them in there and I craft with them because I just enjoy making them. And then when I'm I, like literally if you watch this I was like oh yeah we have that popped it on there okay so and that's just decor I think this is adds a nice little touch okay so that's just one idea of what you can do with these things this is the sewing sewing room folio kit this is eight pages of this one we're gonna we're gonna do this one next week on Tuesday um, very nice last night's project. Oh, thank you, Joyce. Um, so it is called, I think it's Vintage Photo. Yeah, Vintage Photo. Okay, so we've got this one. We've got this one that I made earlier. So get these out of the way. Okay, there's the backs. Nice. Let's do another one. Mm, what do we want to use? How about that one? So this, so when I'm creating these printables, so I create this design, right? So this is the whole printable here. And you could just literally fold this and put it in a journal or make whatever you want, right? But this here is a project that I did last year. So I took a photo of it. And then I made I put it into this isn't that cute so let's see if this fits oh this is gonna fit oh is it gonna fit I don't know well, yeah it might if I go over his head is gonna be over there a bit we could do that but let's see 
I kind of want them off to the swoon. Yeah, I want to do that. I'm not going to use that again. Okay. So in the Creative Mix Club in my group, um, we do, we actually made one of these. Um, I did this digitally, obviously. But in the Creative Mix Club, we did it physically, which was kind of fun. Kind of fun. Okay, just there. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay. He's so cute. It's not Friday. I've been talking about it's Friday. It's not Friday. It's Thursday. I've been doing this all day, guys. I even said to Kelly, I said, it feels like Friday. It's not the weekend. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure I said it was Friday at the beginning of this video. Does anybody recall? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave it to me to get the wrong day. It's always fun if you're ahead, but not only if it's actually Friday. And it's not. Oh, well. All right. What do we want to put on the back of this one? We could do another printable. We could, but I kind of want to use some vintage papers, right? So I also got this. Oh, hold on. My chair took off. That would have been funny. That would have been funny. How come you aren't using a glue stick on those? Okay, Kathy. I mentioned it at the beginning, so you must have just popped on. I found the glue stick doesn't like the shiny surface. It doesn't stay. I just found that out. Um, I was making these, I don't know, I was making these a while ago. And I noticed that they started lifting up. So that's why. Just use any kind of glue, but just don't use a, a glue stick, okay? So this is a book that I picked up from the thrift store. Right? And the reason I picked this up is for all of the pictures. Right? Like, look, you could put this. Dr. Keto's wash to remove freckles. You can't. Oh, my God. Murat Muratix acid. Oh, when was this published? Obviously, we're not going to actually do that. There's a published date on these things, isn't there? 1979. Well, I'm not gonna do that. But I like it for the pictures. So let's let's pick one. We could do this one. That that will fit. I'm gonna put my finger in there. Like even that you could cut out and use. That's nice too, right? So look at when you go to the thrift store, look at the old books. Beauty treatments. That's cute. Oh, I don't want that. For whooping cough? Oh. Let the parent of the afflicted child catch a sp All right. Okay. I have to digress a second. Hold on. So back in 1979, for whooping cough, it says, let the parent of the afflicted child catch a spider and hold it over the head of the child and repeating three times, spider as you waste away, whooping cough no longer stay. The spider must then be hung up with the bag over the mantelpiece and when it has dried up, the cough will have disappeared. Oh my Lord. Is this a joke? 
It's got to be a joke. Is this a joke? To keep off whooping cough, wear a black velvet band around the neck or tea made from white ants. It, uh, Ellie, it does. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's, I was, I was not expecting 1979. Okay. That, so I clearly bought the book for the pictures. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my God. Okay. That's interesting. That's hilarious. But okay. But we still have some pretty pictures. So we'll, oh, I lost my page. Shoot. Where was it? Oh, we got a cow picture. I don't want to look at what it's going to say to do to the cow. Oh my God. That's a cute picture though. Uh, I just need that. I just need that picture back. Was it this one? Let's do that. Oh my God. That's hilarious. Hey, Andrea. Sheola says it's not, I don't think it's a joke either. Like that. Okay. A remarkable passage from the book of Albertus Magnus, 1856. So this was published in 1979, but this is from 1856. So who was right? Ellie was right. Hey, Jillian. I know. 1856. Look at that. We have come a long way. Just saying. We have come a long way. It's amazing what they did back then. Poor little spider. I mean, I don't like spiders, but do you want to hear a good spider story? Do you want to hear a good spider story? It's not funny. It's not gross. It's it's just it's it's kind of cute and kind of funny, actually. I have a funny spider story. If you all want to hear it, let me know. Andrea's like, yes, I do. <laughs> I'm getting hot. Hold on. I'm going to talk about Peter. Peter Parker. Do tell. Okay. I will craft as we talk, though, okay? Wow. Okay. Uh, let's put this on here. So I don't like spiders. Okay. Uh, I mean, who does? But I, my theory is as long as you don't, I don't particularly like him in my house. Um, I will not unlife one um, unless it's in my bed or it's heading my way, I'll try and like get it to go away. Okay. So I'm not fond of them. Just stay away from me. Well, here, I don't know, Canada, but we have these big outdoor spiders. I would say the body, let's put it this way. The body of the spider Let me, let me give you some reference here. The body of the spider is like this. Okay, that's the body of the spider, right? And then you got its legs and whatever the else spider looks like. But that's the body of some of these outdoor spiders that we have. Okay, so it's the size of my thumb now. You stay away from me. You can live there. Okay. Well, this last spring... Actually, the last fall, we noticed that we had this honking spider, and it was huge. Hold on. Whoop. Let me try that again. Pay attention to what I'm doing, Denise. Pay attention, Denise. Okay, so it was huge, and it had made a nest. Um, and I, I find it quite intriguing to watch another animal or insect live. And, and watch it. So we watched it for days like because it made this huge spider nest. It wasn't anywhere where we had to walk. So it wasn't bugging me and I didn't want to unlife it. Right. So, oh, there's two sides. 
Okay, that's okay. Well, we watched this spider. And it was getting close to the fall, so it was getting colder. And it made this big, big web. And I would watch it. Like, I'd come home and I'd be like, that's so interesting, right, to watch this spider. Hate the big ones. Mm. Or snakes. No, I'm not a big on snakes either. Um, the spiders would scare the cold away. <laughs> Is that what they said? Um, so... We're watching this. Well, doesn't my sister name this spider? She names it. She names it Peter. Peter Parker, right? Spider-Man. Because this thing is, it, it really is like a pet. It is huge, all right? And we've now watched it make its home. And then, so I said, well, now, now we can't do it. Now you've named it. You have named the darn spider. So we would come home. Be like, hey, Peter, Peter Parker, what are you up to? Where are you? Right? Because sometimes he wouldn't be in his nest, be in the bush or whatever. Like, hey, Peter Parker. So I said to her, I said, well, now we can't do anything to it because it is now, you've named it. It is now our pet. And, of course, if you know, if you've followed me for any times, you know that my dog died almost a year ago now. So I have no pets. I have no pets. Except we have this spider named Peter Parker. And he lives in the carport. And he's still there. Do you know that they hibernate? He, he curled all up. So, oh, but the best part, not the best part, really. Not the best part for the bee or the wasp. But he, a wasp, he got a wasp. And it was so fascinating to watch him cocoon. Because he's now our pet. He's, he's like, he needs to eat. He, he's Peter Parker. Right, he's our pet, so you know, life has to go on, and then he just sort of ate that, made its cocoon, and all that. And then he's now under our carport, all curled up for the winter. That's my spider story. As you are cutting your piece out, what type of scissors do you use to cut the printables that have those really curvy or scalloped edges? Oh, okay, Dusty. So I use these ones. I got these on Amazon. They're little tiny ones. Okay, you need here. Let me see. You need to get these little ones here. Um, you don't have to get them cute and fancy like this, but you need something that's very small. Okay. Um, he is living his best life. He's got two crazy people that named him. He's living the life. Um, we're also, I do have a scan and cut. You, if you have a cricket or a scan and cut, you can do that as well. That helps. Living his best life. <laughs> oh my gosh. And oddly enough, not oddly, not oddly, but my birds have come back. So I have, okay, so we've been here 20 years in this house. And about, I would say about five years ago, we have these little sparrows. I don't know if you notice on my, um, my logo has a little chickadee or a little sparrow. We call them sparrows here. Um, I love birds. Anyways, these little birds, this little pair of birds made a nest. We had our roof done and you know the faucets faucets or i don't know what you call them there's a little gap about this big that the roofer didn't fill in well these little guys made a nest in there before we knew what was happening and they had babies and well let's just say if if we name a a, a spider peter parker and i did not name these these little birds but I will not get rid of that nest. They come back every year and they're back. They showed up uh, a couple of days ago and they're in there building their nest again. And they will have, it's the same pair. They come back. I don't know where they go for the winter because sparrows or chickadees don't travel south like our goose, like our Canadian geese. So I don't know where they go, but they're back 
and they will have three sets of babies. And I love it because today all I could hear was them chip, 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 coming through the door. So, but I never thought about naming them. I think if I was going to name them, I would call them um, Betty and, and uh, not Rudolph. But what's the rebel's name? Yeah, not Barney. Fred. Never mind. Fred and Wilma. That's what I would name them. It's that, you yeah, know, well, I think so. Okay. So now we've got this one. Okay. And I've got that on the back. I love that. That book is crazy. Okay. That book is crazy. Betty and Barney. I always loved Fred. I loved Fred. He was, he was a big galoot, but he was good hearted Fred. Um, I really like that. This book. I don't like the words in it because it's a little scary. Then we have this one and we have that on the back and the bird and that on the back. Okay. So let me show you, we can take here and this is the one I had done earlier. Okay. So I used all different things on the back. I love that. I just love vintage papers, guys. Wilma and Fred, yes. Um, we can do, um, let's do one a tag. Let's do this one a tag. So I'm going to pop a hole in here. There we go. And let's see what we got here. I used to come home at lunch when I was a kid, and that's what I would watch. The Flintstones. And oddly enough, not oddly enough, why am I saying oddly enough? I really don't know. But my dog's name was Dean. Now, many people wondered if it was Dean Martin or James Dean or Dean from um, Supernatural. That's what he's named after, Dean from Supernatural. Um, but I called him Dino. His his nickname was Dino, right? Because Fred and Wilma had their purple dinosaur named Dino, right? Full circle. Pretty sure they didn't have a, a pet spider named Peter Parker. Um, was that a plain can? Yes, it is. I'm still waiting to decide what to do with it. <laughs> so, yes. So I brought this up to put a printable on, um, because we printed on fabric this week and I brought this up, but it didn't fit because this is a big one. Um, but I will, I will do something with it. It's going to sit here until I decide to do with it, but I put all my scraps in here. Because my other storage is the sewing boxes, which is over there. Okay, so there we go. Now, let me see if I can find one second, guys. I'm going to look for my folio kits. Where are they? Um, hold on, because I want to show you. Here we go. Okay. That's not folio kit. That is part of one that we started to make. Where's my other ones? Trust me on it. We made a folio like this. If you go back onto my Facebook and we put pockets in here and everything, right? And then you would take this and put it in there, but I don't have it. I don't know where it is, but you see, I just might I like to make all this stuff. And then when I go to use it, oh, this is here. Okay, so remember I said I'm all over the place today, guys. I'm all over the place. I am so hyper. I don't know why I'm hyper today. Um, Shelly, did you hop over to to YouTube? <laughs> um, remember how I said that I um, did this digitally? Did digitally? Di digitally. This is the one I did in um, the 
Creative Mix Club. This is one we did. Isn't that cute? So, paper crafting is fun and inexpensive. That's all I can say. Fun and inexpensive. Okay. Um, this is a printable that we did in our group. But you get you get the idea. It all started with playing cards. Okay. You can write a little note on here. But stay tuned because all of these I will and I will store these. Sometimes I store them in the folio kits. Other times I'll store them in little containers. And then when I'm ready to do something with them, they're there and ready to go. But how pretty is that, right? Um, can you send tags to me, Shelly says? <laughs> Um, was that a plain can? Oh, yes, it was. Okay, I saw that again. All right, which one's your favorite? I think this is my favorite. But then the bird, again, is my favorite. But then uh, this is pretty. I love that. And that goes with that one. So I like it. So the Digital Print Clubhouse closes today. So this is how it works with our club. Um. All of the printables that I've been using all week can be found on my website starting uh, tomorrow, at some point tomorrow. Um, but they're a higher price on my website, and you have to buy them individually. If you like them, if you like printables, it's $12 a month. But we go to a wait list after today. Tonight is the last day. And then we go to a wait list until next month. Okay. Um, so if you have any questions about that, let me know. I think it's time for happy mail tags. Yes, probably coming soon. I uh, I just have to, um, yeah. At some point, I got to get back to a little bit of that. Um, yes, and Craftable Tuesdays. Oh, the, does anybody have my text number? I know it's 0601. Does anybody have it? If you have my text number, can you pop it in? And then um, I send out a text, which I didn't get a chance to do today because it froze up. So I didn't get a chance to send that out. So I feel bad about that. But um, I'd like to see a small journal made out of the cards. Um, we will do a journal, but I won't do a small one like this. My, that's just too much for me. My, my fingers, I have arthritis. I don't know if you can tell. I have very arthrit arthritic hands. There's no way I could make a journal this small. I've seen people do it, but I'll make a journal, a half page one. So we'll be doing that throughout the year. So I was about to say, have a good weekend, but it is only Thursday. I was thinking it was Friday all day, but it doesn't matter. I work every day. So um, being that it is Friday tomorrow, I don't know. I might be on tomorrow. We'll, we'll have to see how it goes. Um, would like to see them in a journal. Oh, yeah. They'll definitely go in a journal, Sue. Yeah. I, what I want to do is like for you to do. I don't know where my journal is. There's still some things missing from the move. But um, for you to if you've never done a junk journal before, for, that's overwhelming. It was overwhelming for me. So what I like to teach you guys is all of these little things. We're making all the little stuff, which is one, it's fun to do and it's good for you to craft and just kind of forget things. And you can put this, like you could display this. This is so pretty. I don't want to hide these. I'll display them somewhere, right? Um, even if it's like a little tag like that, we could even make a tag thing with, ooh, I got so many ideas. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, it's overwhelming to start with the journal. So in my opinion, I'm teaching y'all how to do this stuff first. Then we move to the journal. Okay. Because, and then once we make the journal, then you have things to put in it. Otherwise it gets a little overwhelming. Trust me, it does. And bookmarks. Yes, that would make really, how cute would that be as a bookmark, right? Let's get our weird book where you take a spider and I don't know. Anyways, but that's cute. Then you got a little bear hanging out. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Or you could take this. You could put that in there. Bookmark does not have to be traditional, right? So cute. Yeah. 
Okay, so that book that book is interesting. All right, guys, I'm gonna head out. Um, so thank you for so much for joining me on YouTube and Facebook. I appreciate it. If you're watching on replay, hello, hello, say hello to us on replay. I never made one before. I think I have everything to make one. It's intimidating. No, it is. So stick around. We'll walk you through it. Um, I'm not the super expert on journaling, on junk journals. All right. I've done one. Um, because I'm the craft, I, I call myself crafty DIYer because I'll craft anything and I'll try anything. I'll, di I'll DIY it, right? So I want to walk you through it a little bit first. All right. Have a good one, guys. Thank you so much for hanging in with me in my crazy hyper mood today in the crazy stories and Peter Parker. So there we go. All right. I could sit here just and chit chat with you. You want to hang out? We could. We could, but then somebody's going to say, stop talking. And yes, Gail sells hers. Yep. Hey, Rona, Rona, you just signed up. Awesome. Miss Rona Brown, I miss you. Shelly loves my lives. Thank you. I love being here. I'm very happy in the house. I love it. I love not having the warehouse anymore. I love, love, love it. So, all right. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great, oh, have a great weekend. It is Thursday, Denise. It is Thursday. I'm going to get all you hooked on that it's Friday. It is not Friday, guys. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.